Hi there, it's Sarah Jane at Cards and a Cuppa here. Um, today's video tutorial is uh, how to make this box elope, um, this box envelope to send your thicker cards in. This one is approximately uh, an inch deep and is six inches square, which is 14.8 centimetres. Um, I make a lot of square cards for special cards. So this one I've just tied to secure. Um, the one I'm going to share with you I'm going to make with card so um, so it's, you can post it so you don't have to tie it with ribbon. I made this originally um, for a card to include this 3D flower that I made for my mum's birthday. Um, you can find this on my YouTube channel, this flower, how to make this. Um, so here's the box selection okay. tutorial. So I've got a ten and a half inch square piece of card here and you're going to need an envelope punch board, your score tool and the diagonal plate to make this easy. Now make sure your corner of your card is butted up into the corner and then score at four and a quarter and five and a quarter inches. So four and a quarter, five and a quarter, and you just, you're just going to repeat that all the way round. Now this is where you're going to use your envelope punch board. Just makes it a bit quicker to assemble. So I'm going to line up the point on the envelope punch board with each of my score lines and punch. And then turn it round and punch all the round all the corners um, with the board. going to use the handy little score tool that is in the envelope punch board. I tried to make this envelope on the um, punch board on its own but this size I just found was just a little bit too big for the envelope punch board on its own. I'm sure somebody who is much cleverer than I am with measurements has made this size box alone but I just found it much easier to use the diagonal plate on my scoring tool, on my scoreboard rather. Okay, so you'll notice here there's a, a square on each corner. All I'm going to do is tidy up the excess card just to leave that square on each corner. Just makes it that bit easier to assemble as well when you come to make your envelope. Look over and cut down. That way you're not twisting and turning if you do this. So you'll see you've still got these four corners. Now you're going to cut in to the next score line on these. And it doesn't really matter which way you do this because obviously it's square. But if you go up this way, you need to come down this way. So just turn it completely and cut in the same direction as you did before. Now I found it easier to assemble with these flaps coming in like this, so you're just going to take a little bit of Tombow to each corner, each of the just the bottom corners first, and fold up, and then I'm just going to hold it with a little peg, just for a few minutes till it dries. Now 
obviously as well as in card you can make these in Sina series paper which is lovely for hand delivering um, a card to someone I'd probably say that the, the card one is a bit better for posting though okay so that I just left that for maybe two minutes just to make sure that these flaps were um, quite secure with the glue now at this stage you can obviously glue these top pieces in and then place your card into the box and just glue it over um, but if you want it to be like a proper envelope then which is what I'm going to make now I'm going to just fold in these side pieces and just add a line of glue just along the edge of the two side pieces and hold that in what you want to do is try and make sure that your sides are all square as you're gluing so don't don't fold it too far over when you're doing this So once that glue is dry then all, you, all that's left to do is to pop your, your special card in, fold in the side flaps and glue your top part of your envelope closed. So then you can just uh, turn it over and decorate the front as you wish. And there you have your 6x6 six six, uh, 1 inch deep box envelope ready to send your thicker cards in. I hope you've enjoyed today's video tutorial and if you want to see some more please pop over to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.